Okay, so in this video, we want to look at a very nice application of geometric series when it comes to rational numbers and their decimal expansion. So let's start with the following question. What if we ask, what is the decimal expansion of 7 over 22? So we're asking what is this in decimal expansion. Well, this can be easily, easily obtained using long division. So let's carry this out. So we are dividing 7 by 22. So how many times can we fit 22 into 7? The answer is none. Multiply by 10. We can fit 22 3 times into 70. 3 times 22 is 66. We subtract, we get 4. Times 10, we get 40. How many times can we fit 22 into 40? Only once. So 1 times 22 is 22. We subtract. 40 minus 22 is 18. Times 10. How many times can we fit 22 into 180? Well, if you do 8 times 22, you get 8 times 20, 160. So it's 16, 176 is clearly as high as we can go. So 8 times 22, as we've said, is 176. One eighty minus 176 is 4, times 10 is 40. And now we see that we will loop forever between 40, 180, 40, 180, 40, 180, 40, and so forth. And if we have 40, of course, the decimal was 1. So looping forever between 40 and 180 means that we will forever have 18, 18, 18, and so forth. So the decimal expansion of 7 over 22 is 0 0.318 periodic. So this is this was re really easily obtained with a simple long division. What if we went backwards? What if we were given the decimal expansion of a real number, say in this case 0 0.3181818 and so forth, how could we then from this obtain the rational function, the rational number? Well, this we can do with our knowledge of geometric series. So let's begin with the decimal expansion and prove that this is indeed as a rational number 7 over 22. So now we have the completely backwards problem. We are asking, given this number in decimal form, what is the corresponding rational number? So let's expand out. Now let's break those up. So we have 0 0.3 plus 0 0.018. So now we've taken care of the 0 0.3, the first 18, plus 0 0.000, 18, and of course, as every step of the way we move over by two decimal places, this means that we need to add two zeros every time. And so forth. And as we have an infinite decimal expansion, we of course now have an infinite sum. Let us rewrite each decimal number as a rational function, as a rational number. Point 0.3 is 3 over 10. 0.018 is 18 over 1,000. 0.00018 is 18 over 100,000. So 
plus point oh 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 eighteen is eighteen over well one two three four five six seven ten million and so forth and this may look bad but this will become much more pleasant if we simply rewrite our denominators as a power of 10. A thousand is 10 cubed. A hundred thousand is 10 to the 5. 10 million is 10 to the 7. And so forth. We can hopefully now see a pattern, but it's clear that the 3 over 10 is distinct from the remaining of the sum. So we'll leave 3 over 10 alone and we'll combine this over a single series. So we are summing. Well, our numerator is always 18, that never changes, over 10 to some power, the 10 never changes. Now how do we capture the exponents? Well, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so forth are all odd numbers. Odd numbers are of the form 2n plus 1. And of course we need to begin with a power of 3. So n must begin at 1, as 2 times 1 plus 1 is 3. And as the sum is infinite, we have to go all the way up to infinity. This is not exactly a geometric series, but with a little bit of algebra, it will become so quite easily. First, I will separate the 18 from the rest of the expression, as there is no n here, this is a constant. And I will break up the 2n and the plus 1, so this is 10 to the 2n times 10 to the 1. When you multiply the same base, you add the exponents. And here, let me do one other thing on the side. 1 over 10 to the 2n, to have a geometric series, we need to sum nth powers of a fixed number. Well, here the power is not n but 2n, but we can use properties of double exponents. This is 1 over 10 squared to the n. If you double exponentiate, you simply multiply the exponents. And now we're essentially there. So first thing I'll do is I will factor out the 18 over 10. As this is constant with respect to n, I can factor this out of the series. and the 1 over 10 to the 2n, I will of course replace by this, but even go one step further. I want a single number to the power of n, but 1 to the n is always 1, so this is the same as 1 over, and of course 10 squared is simply 100, to the n. 1 to the n is 1, 100 to the n is 10 squared to the n. And now we have clearly a geometric series. We are summing the nth power of 1 over 100, which is constant, as n goes from 1 to infinity. So r is 1 over 100, which clearly in absolute value, it's already positive, is less than 1. So this geometric series does converge, and we can now find its exact value using our formula. We have 3 over 10 plus 18 over 10 times. And if you recall, when you sum a simple geometric series, the formula is the first term. So the series begins when n equals 1. When n is 1, we have 1 over 100. That is the first term of our series. Divided by 1 minus r. Well, r is 1 over 100. And now all 
that remains is to simplify and hopefully if we didn't make a mistake we should retrieve 7 over 22. Let's see. Well, 1 is 100 over 100. 100 minus 1 is 99. So 1 minus 1 over 100 is 99 over 100. So it's 18 over 10 times 1 over 100. And if you divide by a fraction, you of course multiply by the reciprocal, which will be 100 over 99. Now we can simplify a little bit. These two cancel. And we can even go further. So 3 over 10 again, 3 over 10. Let's factor 18 and 99. 18 is 2 times 9. 99 is 9 times 11. So we can cancel a 9. 9 over 9 is 1. And so we're left with what? Well, a 2 over 10. These are now gone. 2 over 10 times 1 over 11. And now the key point is we can factor 1 over 10 from this. As both numbers are multiplied by 1 over 10. And if we do so, well, we're left with 3 plus 2 over 11. Let me continue on a second page. We're almost there. I'll just recopy this first. So if I go back from our beginning, we had that 0 0.318 periodic is now equal to 1 over 10 times 3 plus 2 over 11. And now we're essentially done. Let's combine here over a single denominator. It's 1 over 10. 3 is 33 over 11, which gives us 1 over 10 times 33 plus 2 is 35 over 11. Well, we can simplify a little bit. 35 is 5 times 7. 10 is 2 times 5 times, of course, 11. We can cancel the 5, and we're left with 7 over 2 times 11, 22, as expected. And so you see, with our knowledge of geometric series, it's not very difficult to go from a decimal expansion with a um, periodic pattern to the given rational number. And there is nothing special going on here with the 0.3118. We know that any rational number has a repeated decimal expansion. So if you do begin with such a decimal expansion, with your knowledge of geometric series, you can easily retrieve the given rational number. And that's it.